Yes. Okay. So good afternoon, everyone. I formally declare open this council meeting of the Kola Kotwe Shire on the 8th of November, 2023. My name is Anne Howard and I am the Chief Executive Officer of the Kola Kotwe Shire Council. And I'd like to start this afternoon by acknowledging the traditional custodians and lawmakers of this land, their elders past and present and welcome any descendants here today. Today, Council will elect the Mayor for the Council in accordance with sections 25 to 27 of the Local Government Act 2020. Um, Council may also choose to elect a Deputy Mayor at this meeting in accordance with the relevant provisions of the Act. Section 25.3a of the Local Government Act 2020 requires that the election of the Mayor be conducted by the Chief Executive Officer and therefore I will chair the first part of this meeting. Once the election of the mayor has occurred, I will vacate the chair and the elected mayor will assume the role of the chair for the remainder of the meeting. I'd like to advise that all council meetings are recorded and live streamed with the exception of confidential matters and this includes the participation by the public in sections of the meeting and the live stream recording of this afternoon's meeting will be available on our website as soon as practicable. And as we have managed to have Councillor Hart connect for this hybrid meeting, um, we have no apologies for this afternoon, which is excellent. Um, so I just acknowledge that Councillor Hart is joining us electronically. We do need to be able to see and hear Councillor Hart. If he drops out, I will pause just for a moment in case it's a short connection issue, um, but we will not delay the meeting um, for too long in those instances. Council does allow uh, question time at its council meetings. It's an important public participation uh, process and a maximum of 30 minutes is usually allowed for public question time. However, in accordance with the council resolution of the 23rd of November 2022, public question time for this particular meeting will be restricted to questions relevant to the purpose of the meeting and as I've outlined, that is to elect the mayor and potentially a deputy mayor. We have one written question from Mr James Judd for this afternoon's meeting and just for efficiency I'll actually read um, that question out and provide a response. So thanks to Mr Judd. Um, Mr Judd's question is, has the Colac Otway Shire Council uh, thrown out the State Government order that a Deputy Mayor is to be and reimbursed half a Mayor's allowance so that it can claim if a Deputy Mayor is elected no financial implications arise from accepting the recommendation for the election for the 22-23-24 contained in the agenda for the meeting today. Um, Mr Judd says, do not forget the office was discontinued after the state government changed the rules on payment of the deputy mayor, um, and that means by discontinued by council, not the state government. And his question goes on, for every $10,000 above a councillor's allowance, a deputy mayor is paid it will inflate the remuneration by over $11,000 per annum due to superannuation being paid on the excess, and then all other expenses are also to be added. Um, so thanks for your question, Mr Judd. It's a good opportunity to be clear about the, the allowances that Mayor, Deputy Mayor and Councils are entitled to. Um, while Council resolved not to establish the office of the Deputy Mayor at its meeting held on the 9th of November 2022, the decision does not preclude Council from reconsidering that matter at any time. The base allowance is payable to the Kola Kotway Shire Mayor, Deputy Mayor and Councillors from the 1st of July 2023 are as follows. The Mayor, $102,650. The Deputy Mayor, $51,325. And all Councillors, $31,980. The allowances are set by the Victorian Independent Remuneration Tribunal and are inclusive of superannuation entitlements. And a provision has been made in the uh, council budget for 22-23 to allow the deputy mayoral allowance to be paid as prescribed. Um, council did also receive some other questions in writing before today's meeting, but because they don't relate to the matter and the agenda, we will have those answered at the next council meeting. Okay, and we will make sure that those people who submitted questions in writing are aware of that so they don't think that we forgot them. Uh, it's just we're focusing on the election of Mayor and Deputy Mayor today. We have an opportunity to take questions from the gallery if there are any that relate to the purpose of tonight's meeting. So I'll just ask, is there anyone in the gallery who wishes to ask a question around the election of Mayor or Deputy Mayor process? No one's indicating that they want to ask a question, so we'll be able to move on. Um, before I move to the uh, first important item of the meeting, I just wish to acknowledge our Mayor for the last 12 months, Councillor Chris Potter. 
Chris has been an active mayor, always keen to celebrate community achievements and listen to what's happening in local communities. Chris has also represented our council in our work with regional partners and elected representatives and other levels of government. And on behalf of my fellow officers, I'd like to thank Chris for his support over what has been a very busy 12 months. Okay, the first item of our agenda this afternoon is item 6.1, the election of the mayor. The purpose of this item is to elect a mayor for one year term, which will expire at 6am on the 26th of October 2024, uh, and that's because that will be the council election day. Uh, before I move to nominations, are there any questions from councillors about the process or any questions of officers about the matter? No questions? Stephen's saying no? Excellent. I will now call for nominations for Mayor and Councillor Arnott. Thank you, Chair. I would like to nominate Councillor Chris Potter to the election for the position of Mayor. Thank you. And Chris, you accept that? Yes, I accept that. Thank you. And, and I'll second it, um, CEO, if that's needed. Thank you, Councillor Hart. Okay. Are there any other nominations for the election for Mayor? Yeah, I'd like to nominate uh, Councillor Marg Watt for the position of Mayor. Thank you, Councillor Hanson. Councillor White, do you accept that? Thank you, yes. Thank you. And Councillor Finnegan. And I'd like to second that nomination. Thank you, Councillor Finnegan. Are there any further nominations for the election of Mayor? No? Okay. We have two nominations. Thank you very much. Um, so the election of the Mayor will be by show of hands because that's required by our governance rules. And all councillors present are expected to vote for one of the candidates. Uh, and I will call for a show of hands in order of the nominations that I received. Okay? Um, it is a requirement of the Local Government Act that the election of the Mayor be by an absolute majority of votes. And so to be elected Mayor I'll need to see four votes from the seven councillors. Can I please have by a show of hands those who vote for uh, Councillor Potter as their Mayor? Can I please have by show of hands those who are voting for Councillor White as Mayor? Thank you. Um, so there was an absolute majority of votes and therefore, uh, congratulations, Councillor White. I declare that you're elected as the Mayor of Colacotway Shire Council, and I invite you to assume the chair. Congra congratulations, Councillor White. I can't clap because I have to hold the iPad with one hand. To get Thank you from New Zealand, Councillor Hart. Thank you. Got the shakes. No, firstly, um, and most importantly, I'd like to um, thank uh, Councillor Potter for his um, leadership and efforts over the last 12 months. Um, he's been a great leader and very inclusive and, and very uh, collaborative, so I really appreciate that. Um, it's really been a busy 12 months and, you know, we had two new councillors come on board. Um, we achieved some really significant things and um, Councillor Potter led that really well. Things like the review of the local laws and um, the, the uh, community infrastructure plan in Apollo Bay and a number of other things. So I really want to thank him for his leadership in that. We've had a really good, positive and respectful working relationship and, and I reckon that will um, continue. Um, I want to thank my fellow councillors for their support and encouraging me to run. Um, I really um, appreciate the confidence you've shown in me and I, although he's not here, thank my husband who's great at steering the ship at home and always supports me in my endeavours. So I just want to put that on the record. So thanks again, Councillor Potter, for all your work and uh, we'll move on with the next part of the meeting. Okay. Thank you. Okay. 
So the next item on the agenda is uh, establishing the office of Deputy Mayor. So the purpose of this report is to establish that office of Deputy Mayor. Um, do councillors have any questions? Councillor Coston. Um, congratulations, Mayor. Um, I'd like to propose an alternate motion, thank you, that uh, council um, resolves not to establish the office of Deputy Mayor. Do I ask for a seconder for that? I would second that, please, Mayor. Thank you, Councillor Arnott. Councillor Coston. Thank you, Mayor. Um, and I'd like to uh, sincerely thank Councillor Potter for his uh, very competent and diligent leadership as Mayor over the last 12 months also. Thank you, Chris. Um, it's been my experience in this municipality that uh, Deputy Mayor, the role of Deputy Mayor has been largely a titular role or, or ceremonial role without any real authority or purpose. Um, and while that's okay in itself, um, the new Victorian Independent Remuneration Tribunal determination means that the position will cost us, will cost our ratepayers, almost $20,000 a year. That's roughly a dollar for every man, woman and child in our municipality. Um, and I can't really see the need to use this amount uh, for a role as deputy. Um, we've all fulfilled filled in for Councillor Potter over the last 12 months, and I think that's worked very well. We've all had the opportunity um, to um, step into the Mayor's shoes, and uh, again, thank Councillor Potter for that opportunity. I think that's worked quite well. Um, $20,000, it might only be $20,000, but it could be more. We could use that $20,000 to leverage a two-for-one grant, and we could turn $20,000 into $60,000. Um, so, it, it's the potential of what we could do with this money rather than paying a deputy mayor. Um, so, councillors, I'll, I'll keep it very brief and uh, let's consider very carefully if we need to spend this amount of money on a deputy mayor. Thank you. Councillor Arnott, did you wish to speak? Thank you, Councillor uh, Mayor White. I apologise. I'll get used to that. Thank and congratulations. You. Well done. And I'll also pass my congratulations to immediate past Mayor, Mr Potter. Absolutely fantastic job. Um, you assisted me in my new position as uh, Councillor and I appreciate that. And I, I guess I was talking to that. Since becoming part of the Council it's in March this year, it's been a pleasure to be part of a team, a team that's worked coherently together. We don't always agree, nor should we. We're here to provide different perspectives. But we have always agreed on what is best for the community to go forward, or that's always been our aim. So I um, concur with the comments of uh, uh, Councillor Coston in respect to the cost of the position, largely ceremonial, um, some may argue that they could do more with it, but um, for the moment I think that uh, it would be best if we could use that money otherwise within the community. So therefore, I back this motion. Thanks, Councillor Arnott. Any other councillors wish to speak? Councillor Finnegan. Oh. Uh, thank you very much, Mayor White, and congratulations on your election. And like the other councillors, I'd like to thank Councillor Potter for his services as mayor over the last 12 months. Like Councillor Arnott, I've come on uh, during this calendar year and your guidance was incredibly valuable to me as someone uh, finding their feet in the role. I do understand the, uh, the concerns of Councillor Coston uh, and as echoed by Councillor Arnott in relation to the Deputy Mayor's role and the uh, under, understand that the increase in salary is something that has made this position somewhat difficult. Um, and I do feel that it would have been much more helpful perhaps if the State Government had have uh, allowed for that increase in salary spread across 
uh, all councillors equally. Uh, but that's not the position we're in. I feel that I'm supportive of having a deputy mayor um, and I'm supportive of it because I do think there is a place for a deputy mayor in our shire, particularly in backing up the mayor, whether it be serving as acting chair, serving as acting mayor when the mayor goes away. I also believe that a deputy mayor could make something of the role. They could go and, you know, work alongside the mayor as a leadership team rather than just one leader and work more with outreach with other councillors, with more outreach with the community. Um, and that's why I'm supporting the re-establishment of the Deputy Mayor's role. Thank you. Thanks, Councillor Finnegan. Councillor Hart. Uh, th thank you, Mayor. Are you hearing me OK? We can hear you. OK. Um, I have been Deputy Mayor a number of times before there was the high remuneration. I echo the comments of Councillor Coston and Councillor Arnott in speaking against the Deputy Mayor role. And I just make the point that if 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 it is felt that there's um, some role and extra duties, you work those out before you create the position. I don't think it makes sense when you have a position that now costs the ratepayers about $20,000 extra that you set that position up and then maybe there's some extra duties that we think of later. So I think at this time we should be voting against the creation of the Office of a Deputy Mayor. Th thanks, Mayor. Thanks, Councillor Hart. Anyone else wish to speak? Right. Councillors, I call for a vote. All those in favour? Four. Those against? Carried 4 3. That's the end of the meeting. Thank you very much, everybody, for attending. Um, cup of tea time. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor.